In our decorative painting techniques, we're going to be learning today on how to make self stripes, which are basically the same color stripes, except there's a glossy one and a matte one. They're also called, uh, as I said, self stripes, as well as tone on tone stripes. So I have marked out on my board uh, four inch intervals and I will now proceed to tape these. What I have done on my base is I've used a semi-gloss sandy colored paint and for the uh, stripes, once we have them all taped out, we'll be using a flat paint. So here is our first stripe. You can also use a matte color as your first, as your base coat and then do a semi-gloss on top. But I do find that the semi-gloss is much hardier. So it's better if you tape on the semi-gloss as opposed to the matte. Now there is a leap of faith in the sense that these look like they're going to be all different side stripes, but they are actually all four inches. What we have here is, we're not going to paint here. We will paint in this section. We will not paint here. We will here, not here, and then we'll paint here. So this is four inches, four inches, four inches. But what might surprise you is this is also four inches. So now this is the same color as the semi-gloss base coat. And this is a very sophisticated finish, which um, a lot of clients call for in their dining rooms possibly, or foyers, or even offices, because it's easy to touch up. You just have to tape off a stripe and, and touch up you know, where any damage has possibly taken place instead of redoing the whole wall. Just going over it one more time for good measure, be sure. And probably a good idea when you're working on walls in your own home that you actually go over this twice. Allow the first coat to dry and then put a secondary coat on. And then while it's still wet, the second coat, remove your tape.